This is called hydrogen to helium. Hydrogen to helium, the process that lit the sun, the most basic ingredients in the universe responsible for everything and everyone. Everything and everyone there ever was or will be. An interstellar cloud of gas and dust collapses and heavy elements are born through heat and gravity, like the ones in you and me. Look all around you and take note of all that you see, aware of the fact that this is how it all came to be. Even you, your parents and theirs, friends and then some, are all the result of hydrogen to helium. This fusion of atoms kickstarted the sun, but not just ours. It's in fact how every star in the universe initially gets its power. You see, if an interstellar cloud is big enough, 80 times Jupiter's mass, it'll coalesce until its internal pressure is so intense, the force keeping atoms apart is surpassed. Just like that, a star is given life. The energy generated will wage war on gravity squeezed deep into time. Millions to billions of years of stellar existence will be the outcome, fusing hydrogen into helium. But that's not all that fusion will end in. The sun will eventually produce carbon and oxygen. For heavier elements though, much more mass is required. It'll take a star 10 times that of the sun to produce elements such as sodium, magnesium, and iron. What about every other element on the periodic table? There's even atoms heavier than iron in you. Well, their origin lies in what happens next. A star's got a lot more to do. We stopped at iron for good reason, because it is fusion's extent. For unlike prior elements, it doesn't supply energy, but spins it. Iron saps the star of its nuclear integrity and gravity wins the battle. The star caves. It collapses in the most violent event imaginable, a supernova explosion accompanied by a shockwave. Pressure and heat reach their highest highs. This is when heavier elements are synthesized. Everything from zinc, krypton, and strontium all began with hydrogen to helium. <laughs>